Are you able to see the screen? Yeah, yeah. can see. Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, so today we are going to have this small session on pop queue. It doesn't take much time. Only thing it will be useful for you because you will get some structure discussion or some SPT where they will give pop queue classification and you have to arrive to the diagnosis and proceed the station uh, in that way. Okay, so you should know in detail like, regarding what is pop queue and how to arrive at diagnosis depending on uh, uh, reading that grid. Okay, so you should be able to read that grid. Okay, or sometimes it may come as a teaching station for pop queue. Okay, so uh, this th this session will be helpful for both of these things. So, just we will start it. So, what is pop queue? Is it is a pelvic organ prolapse quantification system. Okay, remember it well. It is a pelvic organ prolapse quantification system. Why it is important? Because it is not subjective. It is an objective. First of all, it is not subject to measurement. Because it is measured in centimeters with rule, ruler. So it is an objective measurement. Everybody will get the same measurements. Okay. And it is an internationally accepted classification system. There are no inter-observer variations. It is valid for all research purposes. And also, whenever we do any surgery, so to uh, quantify the surgical outcomes, it is very useful to use this pop cube. So these are these advantages of this pop cube system. That is, it is internationally accepted as it is an objective. There are no inter-observer variations. It is valid for all research purposes and it is used to quantify surgical results or surgical outcomes. Now, exactly what we are going to do in this pop queue, that is, usually what we have to, whenever we want to do pop queue for any patient, so uh, one, what we should do is we, uh, we should ask the patient to void the urine, okay, uh, come with empty bladder and we should evaluate the prolapse with uh, its maximum. That is on straining or in the standing position or by Balsalva manure. That is, she should tell that this is the maximum prolapse I get, okay. So you have to evaluate the maximum prolapse or we have to give the traction along with some Balsalum and then we have to examine this, uh, we have to take the readings, okay. And which instruments are going to be used for this? So first is the same speculum which, which we are going to use to see the prolapse in any compartment. Like uh, if we put the same uh, speculum in the posterior of this thing, on the posterior vaginal wall, we can see the anterior pro prolapse along with that diffraction, we can see the apical prolapse also. If we put the same speculum in the, uh, on the anterior vaginal wall, retract the anterior vaginal wall, we can evaluate the posterior wall prolapse also, okay? And also a uh, ruler is used. So for uh, how to take the measurement, so for that various things can be used. So we can calibrate any instrument like anterior vaginal wall refractor or rings forceps in the centimeters. Or sometimes there is this pop cue sticks are also available. These are calibrated in the centimeters. Can you see these sticks? So these are calibrated in the centimeters and these are also available to measure this, to take these readings. Okay. So this, now how this system works. So here, Remember well, hymen is the reference point. Okay, so hymen is always taken as zero. Hmm? Okay, and uh, from that hymen, we are going to take readings. Okay, so if the prolapse is situated inside hymen, so any point situated inside the hymen, the it will come as the minus. Okay, and any point which is situated outside the hymen, the readings will be plus. Remember it very well. Any point inside the hymen will be taken as minus will any point outside the hymen will be the plus point okay so readings will be in the plus, plus point and here the terminology avoids specific terms like cystocele or rectocele because usually this prolapse cannot be uh, deter frequently determined by physical examination so it is like anterior stage 2 anterior wall prolapse stage 2 posterior wall prolapse we can label it like that uh, instead of uh, labeling it is that cystocele rectocele okay now which are this uh, nine points see this is the grid if uh, you have to draw this grid like that and you have to take nine points measurement okay so 
there are total nine points points on the anterior wall are can you see my cursor this is the a a point b a point and c point c point corresponds to the cervix while on posterior wall are a p b p and d d is the posterior fornix while there are three points which are which they have always plus these things are always plus it is genital hiatus perineal body and total vaginal length these things we are doing in reduced prolapse with reduced prolapse and these six points that is a a b a c a p b p and d these are we are doing with maximum strain prolapse okay so these things three things with reduced prolapse these six points with maximum prolapse am i clear till now any doubt regarding this nine points i will clear. i will elaborate i will elaborate this point. yeah clear okay huh? okay yeah okay okay clear. so as i told you with prolapse reduce see now what we have to do is with prolapse reduce we have to mark these fixed points also a a a and b p and then we have to measure with maximum prolapse so i will tell you exactly how to do it okay and with prolapse reduce we have to measure these three things that is genital hiatus perineal body and total vaginal leg and with maximum excursion of prolapse we have to measure four points that is a a a p b a b p and c and d hmm? and all points we have to measure as i mean as the reference point okay and c and d also we have to do with maximum prolapse so see here you can see very nicely c now whatever i am telling is we have to measure this a a and a p with reduced prolapse so when the prolapse is reduced we have to measure this a a and a p point inside we have to mark it inside and then with maximum exertion we have to see where exactly this a a and a p point are coming with reference to hymen so see this a a and a p are the fixed points so what is a a it is the point on the anterior vaginal wall 3 cm proximal to the hymen so it is a fix it is 3 cm proximal to the hymen so first we have to mark this point with reduced prolapse inside the vaginal wall where exactly this a a point is coming and ap point is coming so we have to so what is ap point it is again 3 cm above the hymen and posterior vaginal wall so these two are fixed point at 3 cm above the hymen so we have to mark these points with reduced prolapse where exactly this 3 cm is coming and after that when patient uh, the uh, ex, uh, patient has maximum prolapse we have to see where this aa and ap exactly coming see it can come here it can come out of the hymen so it can come here if see if it is here hmm, so it will be plus 1 okay can you are you able to understand it so first we have to mark this a point and then patient we will ask patient to strain maximally or we will give traction okay and then see where is the a a point is coming in reference to hymen so if she has anterior wall prolapse if she has anterior wall prolapse and this a a point after prolapse it is coming here so this is the hymen so if this is coming here we can say it is a plus 1 a a point will be plus 1 are you getting it Yes, yes yeah okay so first we have to do it with reduced prolapse mark them and then with maximum prolapse we have to see exactly where these are coming in reference to the hymen so see so this is the a a a point three centimeter proximal to the hymen now this b a point b a point is the point on the anterior vaginal wall which is in between a a and c c is the cervix hmm? and which has maximum prolapse <laughs> which has maximum prolapse so it is the ba point so it can be from aa to c hmm? so sometimes what happens with full prolapse this aa will come to plus 3 and this ba will come directly down to plus 5 or plus 6 like that okay this will be complete inversion of anterior vaginal wall so aa will come to plus 3 and this ba can be anywhere so it can come like this 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 it will come to the plus 5 or plus 6 like that okay so it is from the hymen you are going to measure it will be plus when it is complete inversion and normally what happens is a a with normal position a and b a are the same okay so same with posterior wall 
So this is the AP point 3 centimeters proximal to the hymen. Now BP point is between AP and the D point that is posterior fornix. Here it will be a D point posterior fornix. And then this BP point is the point of maximum prolapse on the posterior vaginal wall. Okay. So it can come here. It can come here, it can come here, it can come here, it can come anywhere. Okay. So, only thing we have to measure it in the relation of the hymen. Okay. But normally, in normal position, AP and BP are the same, and AA and BA are the same, and their values are minus 3 in normal position. Okay. Both A and BA are minus 3, AP and BP are minus 3. Okay. Clear? Clear? Any doubt? Because these are the most difficult points. Other points are very easy. This pop cube. A and B A. Basically, to understand A and B A is the only difficult thing of pop cube. Clear till now? So A A A and B should be um, measured with a reduced prolapse. No, no. Ah, now A and A P we have to mark. There is exactly this A point should come first with reduced prolapse. That is where this 3 centimeters proximal to the hymen, which is that point that we have to mark. And then it should be measured with maximum strength. Yeah, that is the normal position of A and AP, no? Yeah. See, this is the normal position of A and AP. So we have to do it, mark this point because we don't know exactly. Then with maximum prolapse, anything can be out. Am I right? There can be full anterior wall eversion. So, we, ex we can't exactly know where is this exactly A point. So, with reduction, we have to see where this exactly A point is situated. A is exactly 3 centimeters proximal to the hymen. So, we have to mark that point. Uh, so, maximum, so, with maximum prolapse, the most distal point will be BA and BP. Yeah, most distal point will be maximally BA or BP. Sometimes, uh, yeah. Most distal, it will be uh, BA and BP. Sometimes what happens is here, this A will come and this B, BA will be just here. Oh, one minute. See, this A, sometimes it will come out of hymen. With eversion, BA will be the maximum point. But sometimes e, A and BA can die at same level. Sometimes BA is like a minus 1 or plus 1. Uh, sorry, uh, minus 1, 0 or A can be come outside, it will be 0 or plus 1. Getting me? Yes. Hmm. Okay. So, clear for this A, A, A and B, A and A, P and B, P points? Yes. Yeah. So, here again I will tell you what are these three. <laughs> yes. Yes. Regarding the, you, you are telling six point we are making with a maximum prolapse. Yeah. And again, you repeat four point will be taken in the maximum prolapse. No, no. Six so points will be taken in maximum prolapse. Only thing A, okay. A and B, P, we are going to first measure with reduced prolapse. We will mark, not measure. Just we will mark where these points normally should lie. Okay. And then we will measure these points with maximum prolapse. Measurement will done with maximum prolapse. Only thing marking will be done with reduced prolapse because we should know exactly what is the A and AP point. Otherwise, we will not we will not know with full prolapse. We will not know exactly which is A and which is BA. Okay. So for that, we will just mark this A and BA with reduced prolapse, A and AP with reduced prolapse, and then finally we will measure this A, A, AP, BA, BP, C, and D with maximum prolapse. So these six points will be measured in the maximum prolapse. Got it? Yeah, clear. Hmm. So now see, to tell you all the points, so this is the A, 3 centimeters proximal to the hymen. This is in the normal position. When it is the uterus is in the normal, all, all things are in proper anatomical location. This is the A, 3 centimeters proximal to the hymen. BA is, will be the same. Okay, in this case, AP, BP will be also the same. Now C, hmm, C is the point of service. D is the point of posterior fornix. Okay, hmm? and TVL will be the from the hymen to the point D when there is the uterus is present. And when uterus is not present, post hysterectomy, C will be the point 
which is uh, so it will be the, from the high main to the point C will be the TVL. Okay. Now genital hiatus it is measured from the uh, external urethral meatus to the midpoint of the posterior pouchet. Okay. So this is the genital hiatus from the external urethral meatus to the midpoint of the posterior pouchet. Uh, and perineal body is the midpoint of the posterior pouchet to the midpoint of the opening of the anus. Midpoint of the opening of the anus. External uh, anal opening. Okay. So got it all these uh, 10 points. Sorry, 9 points. Okay. Got it? Yes. Yeah. So this is the description of each point. So AP, AA, which is verb, no point AA and AP. So these are the fixed points. Three centimeters. When it is a, this is external urethral meatus, three centimeters to the this thing. Proximal to the uh, so this is external urethral meatus. This is uh, uh, outlet. So here will be the AP point. Three centimeter proximal to the hymen on the anterior vaginal wall and AP is the 3 cm proximal to the hymen and posterior vaginal wall. Okay. And this point with maximum prolapse. See, here it can be from minus 3 to plus 3 only. It will not become plus 5, plus 6 A point because it is a 3 cm. It will come out maximum 3 cm only. It will not come out more than 3 cm out because it is situated only 3 cm to the hymen. Okay. So, maximum range will be plus 3 only. From minus 3 to plus 3. So with complete prolapse, it will become plus 3, not more than that. Okay. Now B A and B P. It is the lowest point of prolapse between A A and uh, A and C anteriorly and A P and vaginal apex posteriorly. That is posterior forming. So A will be point between uh, sorry, B A will be point between A A and C anteriorly. And between A, P and D posteriorly. Okay. Hmm? So it is the point of maximum prolapse on the anterior vaginal wall will be the B, A. And point of maximum prolapse on the posterior vaginal wall will be the B, P. And C, pro C correspond to the cervix. Where exactly the cervix lies in relation to the hymen. And D is the posterior fornix. Okay. Now, when, as I told you, when the uh, in post hysterectomy patient, there will be no D point. Remember well, whenever is the grid is given, we have to see whether it is a D or whether D is present or not. Lowest uh, corner. In the right hand, lowest corner is the point D. If it is present, the uterus is there. If it is not present, it is post hysterectomy prolapse. Okay. Remember that thing. First, we have to determine whether it is a post hysterectomy prolapse or with uterus intact. Okay, so D is the point of posterior fornix and it represents the level of uterosacral ligament. So, when there is a distance, more distance between C and D, okay, so we can see that it is a congenital elongation of cervix. Hmm? Sometimes there happens in congenital, congenital prolapse, there may be a congenital elongation of the cervix. So, it is like uh, uh, this thing. So, with the distance between C and D, we can find out uh, whether it is a congenital elongation of cervix. Hmm? And there will be no D in the post-hysterectomy prolapse. Now what is perineal body? It is a posterior margin of genital hiatus to mid and opening. See, it is the posterior part of the genital hiatus. It is posterior forehead to the mid and opening is the perineal body. And genital hiatus is the external urethral meatus to the posterior forehead. Posterior forehead. And TVL, it is the greatest length of left of vagina in centimeters when C and D are normal in normal position. So that means you have to do it without prolapse. That is, with reduced prolapse, we have to measure genital hiatus, perineal body, and TVL. These three things we have to measure with reduced prolapse. Okay. Now, what is the staging? So, after measuring all these points, we have to stage this prolapse. Okay. So, stage 0. Stage 0 when all things are in proper anatomical position. So, when the point AA, AP, BN, BP are all at the same level. Okay. And when point C or D, that is the cervix or posterior fornix, is less than or equal to 
x minus x minus 2. X is the total vagilal length. So see, if we do the measurements and if we find out that TVL is around 10 centimeters, okay? So here point C or D should be at minus 8 level, okay? It should be less than or equal to at minus 8 level. It should not be um, uh, minus 4, minus 6 like that, okay? Hmm? So this is the stage 0 prolapse. It is the normal anatomical location of each point. Now stage 1, when the criteria for stage 0 is not met and leading age of prolapse is less than minus 1, okay? So where point A, A or uh, sorry, B, A or B, P is less than minus 1 and also C and D are point are less than minus 1, I will tell you afterwards. Now, stage 2 prolapse is more than minus 1, more than, more than equal to minus 1 to more than equal to plus 1. So, from minus 1 to plus 1, it becomes stage 2. Plus 1 to TVL minus 2. That is, if TVL is minus 10, then plus 1 to plus 8 becomes stage 3. And more than 8 becomes stage 4. Okay? Hmm? So, I will, tell you, I will tell you again it exactly how this staging is there. So, can you see this? So, this is the normal position. Here, all the points A, B, A and everything will be. So, A, B, A will be minus 3. A, P, B, P will be minus 3. C or D will be somewhat. If the TVL is 10 centimeter, C and D will be around 8 centimeters. Okay. And that to, that to minus 8. Okay. So, it will become stage 0 prolapse. Hmm? Now, stage 1 will become. Anything from minus 8 to minus 1. Getting me? If TVL is 10, if TVL is 8, it will anything from minus 6 to minus 1. Are you getting me? Stage 1. Yes, minus 6 to minus 1. When TVL is 8, Correct. it depends on TVL. It depends on TVL minus yeah, yeah, 8. TVL. Huh? Okay. Yeah. It depends on TVL. What is your TVL? Minus 2. Okay. 2 minus 1. So if TVL is 9, it will be minus 7 to minus 1. It will become stage 1. Hmm? Okay. Any values between minus... If TVL is 9, any values between minus 7 to minus 1 will become stage 1. So it depends on the TVL. Stage 1. Stage 2, anything from minus 1 to plus 1. Hmm? Anything from minus 1 to plus 1 becomes stage 2. Anything from plus 1... To TVL minus 2 in plus. So if TVL is 9, plus 1 to plus 7 becomes stage 3. If TVL is 10, from plus 1 to plus 8 becomes stage 3. And in anything more than 8 becomes stage 4. Got it? Got it? You have to just see yes. TVL minus 2. In the minus stage 1, plus stage 3. Dr. Can you explain yes. one more time? Yes, yes. See. Stage 1, all are normal values. <coughs> so, A, 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 B, A will be minus 3. A, P, B, P will be minus 3. Okay. If C, TVL is uh, like 10, then C and D should be at minus 8 levels. Okay. Minus 8 or minus 9 like that or minus 10 also. So, this will become normal. Hmm? Stage 0. Now, stage 1. See, now stage 1 values depend upon the TVL. See, if TVL is 9 centimeters. So, suppose see, TVL is 9 centimeters. So, any values from minus 7 to minus 1. Because TVL is 9, so TVL minus 2. Any values from minus 7 to minus 1 become stage 1. Okay? And any values from plus 1 to plus 7 become stage 3. Any values from plus 1 to plus 7 become stage 3. Anything more than plus 7 becomes stage 4. And anywhere minus 1 to plus 1 becomes stage 2. Got it? We will see in the examples. You will get to know. So stage, what... stage 1 and stage 3 are with the opposite sign of same values. All, uh -huh, almost, almost. Minus and there is plus. Uh -huh. no, minus and there is plus. Yeah. Okay. So see here. See, this is the example. Now, if, if any example, don't read the description. Now, I will tell you exactly how to read it. That's why I have taken this. Okay. I have taken this description because of that also. Now see, first you have to see the grid. First you have to see the lowest corner, lowest right corner of the grid. Hmm? Whether D is present or not. So whether D is present, here D is not present. Am I right? 
so it becomes post hysterectomy prolapse so it becomes walled prolapse okay so whenever you get any uh, this thing any uh, station with the grid that's given because they may not give this picture they will just give the grid okay so you will not know huh? you will not know exactly what is it hmm? so you they will just give grid and you have to imagine this picture in your mind okay they are going to give this grid only so whenever you are reading this grid just see whether first point b is there or not if point b is not there it is post hysterectomy vault prolapse okay now C anterior vaginal wall two points hmm? A and B A both are at minus three. So is there any prolapse of anterior vaginal wall? No. 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 Yeah. Now C is at minus six. Hmm? C what is the TVL? Eight. So Eight. Is, hmm, Eight. is there any prolapse? No. Yeah, because oh, it is oh, yes. So, yes. No, it is at yes. minus two is six. So it is at minus six. So it is normal anatomical position. It should be more than this thing. Okay. If it it becomes more than t more than minus two TVL, then it will become prolapse. Okay. So if it becomes five or four, then it becomes prolapse. Stage one. Hmm? Stage one apical prolapse it will become. If it is minus five, minus four, or plus five, plus four, so anything from minus five to plus five, it becomes stage one or stage three. Got it? Got it? It is. Three. Yes, doctor. Yes, okay, okay. okay. Ah, okay. So there is no anterior prolapse. There is no apical prolapse. Okay. Telling you exactly how to read the grid. Now you have to see this AP and BP point. AP point is at plus two. BP point is at plus five. So don't look at the picture. Don't look at the picture. Just see the grid because you are going to get only picture. They are not going to give you picture. So AP is plus two. BP is plus five. So what do you think? Which stage it is and what it is? Stage three. Posterior prolapse. Yeah. Posterior prolapse. And it becomes which stage? Stage three. Yes. Stage three. Yeah. It becomes stage three because it is more than plus one. Yeah. So it becomes stage three, and stage four becomes. It should be more than plus six and more to become stage four. Because TVL is eight. So for stage four, it should be more than plus six. Okay. So it becomes stage three posterior wall prolapse. Post hysterectomy stage three posterior wall prolapse. Got it? The diagnosis here is okay. Hmm? See leading point of. So there is no wall prolapse. It is wall prolapse. There is no wall prolapse. It is a wall prolapse. Mm -hmm. Always it is a wall prolapse. Post hysterectomy is a wall prolapse. Only thing it is a post. You have to see that it is anterior or posterior. Okay, it can be any compartment. Hmm? Okay. So now see the description. Leading point of prolapse is upper posterior vaginal wall. Point BP is plus five. Point AP is plus two. Hmm? Cuff has undergone only two centimeter of descent only because it would be at minus eight if it is properly supported. So this represents stage three prolapse or posterior prolapse actually. Hmm? So same thing, same diagram. Just I have given you in detail. See, can you see this same diagram? One thing I want to ask in this, uh, when when the hysterectomy is done already, then C and point D are same. Yes. So it is now minus two centimeter less. So this is prolapse of the apex also. Minus two centimeter. See, when it is less than or equal to minus two, it can be anatomical position. See, again we will see the classification, so we'll note that. But that is for the with the uterus only. When the uterus see? is not there, then either point C or D. Hmm? It is not that either point C or D. It can be C or it can be D. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm? Okay. Hmm. Now see this. Hmm. Now see, try to see the grid only first of all, and then look at the diagram. Okay. Hmm? So 
to try to see the grid. Now see, this is a a plus three b a plus three. So it is anterior wall prolapse. Is there or not? Yes. Yes. So which it is which stage now in anterior wall prolapse? Stage three. Stage three. Stage three. Stage three. Okay. Yes. Stage three. Yes. Now see, it is plus three. seven. Whether it becomes uh, uh, stage three or stage four? Three. It is stage four because uh, we four. Stage four. Yeah. No. It, it becomes stage four here. Nine minus two plus seven. Yeah. Yes. Huh? Yes. Now. BP and AP again. It is posterior wall also stage three, and mm. D is complete this thing. Okay. Yeah, it is procedentia basically. Yeah, it's like mostly procedentia, but here again we have like stage three anterior posterior and stage four becomes apical prolapse. Okay. So it's like almost eversion. Hmm. It is complete eversion. See here again. Now see this grid. This is post hysterectomy. Yeah, post hysterectomy. Now which stage it becomes? Uh, anterior also complete. Stage four. And stage four. Stage four. Stage four. Anterior and posterior both. <laughs> All it is, it is complete prolapse. Complete prolapse. It is complete uh, complete prolapse. Complete emergent. Now see what is the difference between this and previous is. See here. One minute. This B point is B A point is plus three. B P point is plus three. So it is not complete prolapse of anterior or posterior. Okay. It is less than seven. Am I right? So here it is stage three, not stage four. But in the next thing, it is complete inversion of anterior wall also and posterior wall also. It is plus eight plus eight. Got to know? Yeah. Yeah. Because A and AP will be plus three. In any case, complete inversion also and not complete inversion also. But here it becomes stage four. Here it becomes stage four. When in previous it becomes stage three for anterior and posterior. Got it? No. <laughs> Hmm. Now this. This is uh, 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 yeah. an anterior prolapse uh, with the uh, apical prolapse also. Stage four. So? Anterior wall stage four. Anterior wall. Stage anterior with the anterior wall stage four. Yeah. Apical prolapse stage one only. Yeah. It is less than minus one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Apical and also somewhat stage posterior two. prolapse stage one. Yeah. Minus. Mm -hmm. Got it? So, yeah. so what is the uh, complete staging in picture now? So how do we write uh, what is the exact we stage? Two stages are uh, this thing uh, wise only. Compartment wise only. Compartment wise only. Compartment wise only. Because there are different stages for different compartments. Yeah. Okay. So stage one. Ah, Mithla, so, can you go back to that picture? Yes. 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 So this is stage uh, three uh, anterior wall compartment. So stage no, one. Wait. 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 Stage four. It and is, uh, stage four anterior. Sorry. Stage apical. Hmm. Yeah. Stage, stage four anterior. anterior stage and uh, one, uh, stage one apical. Stage one apical. Yeah. And stage and one posterior. posterior. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now this again. Again, this one is a complete, uh, complete uh, wall prolapse. Stage four wall prolapse. Stage four. Stage four wall prolapse in all. Stage four anterior and posterior. Wall prolapse. Wall prolapse. Yeah, it is in all compartments. Uh, this is stage, stage three anterior mm -hmm. and uh, stage, stage three apical. Yes. And uh, uh, stage uh, two, stage, stage two, uh, this one. Stage two post posterior. Stage, stage two, two posterior. Yes, correct. Okay. Stage two posterior. Yeah. Yes. Here it is actually shortening of vaginal length. Hmm. Sorry, it is no, 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 no. It is D. Okay, so posterior phonics. Okay, no problem. 
vaginal length is yeah the total vaginal length is normal yes yes normal okay so it is stage stage 3 anterior stage 3 apical and stage 2 posterior okay next uh this, this is uh, stage 3 stage 3 stage 3 anterior and the stage 3 apical and posterior and stage 3 as a posterior on stage 3 whether it is stage 3 or stage 4 it is stage 3 okay next stage 3 anterior 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 stage 3 Because D is at point six, no? D is at so point six. So it is apical is stage four. Everything is stage four. TVL minus two. For C, TVL minus two. Okay. Yeah, minus five is yes, minus five is plus five. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So it ah. becomes stage four for each and everything. So, okay. Now you have become experts. <laughs> yes. Doctor Mrudula, can I ask you something? Yes. Yes. I just joined little bit late. Can you again explain me the apical one? How do you uh, define the um, uh, staging? Yes, one minute. I will tell you one minute. See anything for that apical? We have to see C and D points. D point. Apical. Okay. We are taking C and D points. Whenever the uterus is there, C point. So uh, whenever the uterus is there or not there, C point we have to take. When the uterus is not there, D point will not be there. So when the D point is not there, it is post hysterectomy prolapse. When the C and D are there, the uterus is intact. Okay. Now for this thing, we have to see TVL minus two. So when total vaginal length is nine, it's same. If it is nine, suppose it is nine. If the C point is at C point should be at normal position for zero. It should be at minus seven, minus eight, minus nine. Okay. 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 So and for stage one, it should be from six. So six, five, uh, minus it is from so minus six to minus okay. one. It will be stage one. And from plus one to plus six will be stage three. Yes, yes. But I know this only. Yeah, minus two is up to normal. Up to yeah, minus two is normal. Ha, up to normal position. Okay, it is stage three. From the TVL. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Hmm? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, any questions, girls? Doctor Mudra, I didn't understand this point. Like minus two is up to normal. What does that? Mean? I didn't get that point. It can be a normal position. See, what is the stage zero classification? Is point A A A P B A in B P all at minus three, and either point C or D at less than or equal to T V L minus two. So when T V L is ten, it should be at minus eight or less than minus eight. Then it is normal. So there should be definitely when there is posterior fornix, when there is the cervix, definitely there is some cervical line that is coming. Am I right? Hmm. Hmm. So from TVL, TVL you are measuring from hymen to the posterior fornix when the uterus is intact. Yes. Yeah. So there should be some uh, cervix that is coming out of that TVL posterior. There will be some length of posterior fornix. So they have considered this minus two as posterior fornix length. So cervix can lie okay. up to two centimeters. Okay. Okay. This is the normal. Plus two or minus two. That is plus means two centimeters from the posterior fornix. Two centimeters. Okay. Hmm? Okay. It is, okay. It will not depend whether it is plus or minus. It does not have any connection with that. Finally, your TVL you are going to measure it. It is plus or no? It will be not any minus. It should be minus. It's definitely when it is above the hymen. It is going to be minus only. Only thing what I am telling yeah. is the value is why it is yeah. why they have taken minus so TVL minus two. So that two centimeters they have taken for this posterior fornix length. That is from the end of cervix to the posterior fornix. So that's why they are telling no. this two centimeters is normal. Okay, two centimeters hmm. minus TVL minus two centimeters can be normal. Okay. Normal. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much.
for the okay when it comes to a stage 4 also uh, hmm. up to minus 2 is normal like suppose tvl is 8 yeah. uh, up to plus 6 is uh, stage 4 like right yes so severe leading edge of prolapse is plus tvl minus 2 so tvl is 10 it is 8 so if it is more than 8 or more than 8 when it is 8 or more than 8 it becomes stage 4 okay because whenever okay. there is d point see whenever there is d point there will be complete diversion in stage 4 yes yes but whenever there is c point on this cervix so you will not get exactly the tvl length matching because cervix lies always below this thing you no know, posterior fornix okay so for c point there will be usually somewhat less so for that they are telling it is more than tvl minus 2 plus in plus signs okay Okay. Dr. Mardula, sorry, last time, just um, explain this staging, that uh, picture of staging. Oh, okay. stage zero, stage one. Yeah. Yes, yeah, this one. Ha. Huh. So see, now whenever you are, whenever the grid is given, because nobody is giving you this diagram, mind well first of all, nobody is giving you those diagrams. They will only give you grid. Okay. Huh? And depending on that grid, depending on that values, you have to interpret. Just one minute, girls. One minute. So yes. So whenever see now, what is this normal position? I have explained uh, this thing also. See A A A A A B A A P B P all will be minus three. Okay, and C and D point. When C, when the TVL is like nine centimeters, when it is seven, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, it will become zero stage zero prolapse. Getting it? Are you getting it? Yes. Ha. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ha. Huh? Now, whatever may be the A B A point, it should be less than. Now, when the TVL is nine, from minus six. To minus one, all points should come. Yes. Values come between minus six to minus one. It becomes stage one. Yes. So here you have to say TVL, and depending on the TVL, you have to decide your values. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Okay. For staging, you have to decide your values depending on the TVL. Okay. Very much easy. Okay. From minus one to plus one, it becomes stage two. This is the easiest mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now from plus one to again plus six, it becomes stage three. When the TVL is nine. Okay. Okay. So plus one to plus this six becomes stage three. From plus seven to plus nine becomes again stage four. Any values? Here only thing in anything A and B A will be uh, A sorry A A and A P will be plus three only maximum. Any prolapse uh, means prolapse uh, stage four prolapse also. This A A and A P values will not be more than plus three. That you remember very well. Okay, for any for the stage four also, you should not minus it from T V L. Getting it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They yes. will be only yes, yes, plus yes. three only. Okay? Huh? Yes. What yes. values we are yes. going? What values are going to change is B A B P C and D. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so A will be for anterior, B P for posterior, C and D for the apical. Why A and A P P will remain three centimeter? Um, see, one minute, one minute. I will show you. See, this A and A P point, as I already told you, this A and A P point are fixed points. Those are three centimeters proximal to the hymen. Okay, these are fixed hmm. points, huh? Now, hmm. if they get prolapse, will not ever so, change. Depend even if the transvaginal length changes, it will always remain as plus three. Yeah, it will remain as plus three because this how much prolapse it going to occur with this when this minus three is there, it will not come to minus three. No, this length is three centimeters only from hymen. With mm -hmm. reduced prolapse, this length is three centimeters only. These are the fixed okay, points. This length is three centimeters only. So this can come out mm -hmm. to three centimeters only. You know. This hmm. will not. This length will not change. Yes. Huh? Hmm. Yes. Yeah. So it can come yeah. from minus three to plus three. It will not going to change. Okay. Hmm. 
it is not going to increase got it hmm. Hmm? yes now it's oh, clear yeah ah. so whenever it when, in stage 4 prolapse also a a and a p will be only plus 3 okay they will hmm. not change at all in a p it will be plus 3 yes ah. see AAP. here a p plus 3 but here b and b are also plus 3 so i am telling it is a stage 3 it is not stage 4 anterior and posterior wall mm -hmm. but here c a ap plus 3 b a and b p is become plus 8 so it becomes stage 4 prolapse got it so this is the difference between stage 3 and stage 4 got it yes yeah yeah hmm yeah now clear thank you so much yeah. so yes any okay, questions girls yeah yeah yes Yes, ma'am. Uh, anterior wall stage three, posterior wall stage four, and uterus uh, another stage like that. It will happen. Anterior wall plus stage again. Posterior again. stage three, anterior wall stage three, posterior wall stage four, huh? and then huh? and uterus like that. It will happen and. It, Yes, we will have a stage three. It oh, can separate it can staging, uh, like depending upon season. Yeah, yeah, it can happen. Why not? Do you mean so when we this this when we tell we need to tell like that? Yeah, yeah, we have to tell compartment like uh, uh, compartment wise staging. Such things happen. Okay, ma'am. Stage three and two. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, thank you. A pickle and stage one or two posterior wall. Okay. 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 Okay, girls. Any doubts? Hope I was clear. And one more thing. Yeah. One more thing. Can I ask, ma'am? Yes. This point C is, huh? is uterus representing uterus. Hmm. No, ma'am. Yes. C point C so, represents uh, cervix. Yeah. Cervix. Okay, ma'am. Ah. Uh, so if we all the all the three are uh, corresponding to stage three, means we can tell stage three uterus general prolapse. Yeah. Stage three. Ah. Uh, stage 3 prolapse yeah stage 3 prolapse we can say it is a stage 3 prolapse in all compartments so that's why i told in pop q they don't use histocele rectocele such terminologies they will usually classify it compartment wise okay and okay, okay thank you ma'am posterior okay okay hello yes hello dr modula yes yes uh, Excuse me. Can you can you explain anyone that uh, example hmm. uh, the which calculation? How you are calculating? Just uh, okay. you understand that uh, which calculation? How you measure? Please okay. one or tell. anyone. Only. I will tell. I will tell. One minute. Thank you. See now in this. first what mm -hmm. we have to see is we have to see the grid see don't look at the picture okay huh as mm -hmm. i told you they are not going to give you any picture this picture is for only your explanation okay don't look at the picture only look at the grid or i will i will show you with grid only so that it will be easy for you huh? now see this picture huh? now first see whether mm -hmm. the uterus is there or not when point d is mm -hmm. there that means it is a uterus is there uterus is intact okay huh? yeah so it is not post hysterectomy hmm huh? so first define that mm -hmm. thing okay now look at these two points a and ba so a is plus 3 mm -hmm. ba is plus 3 so when ba is plus 3 it means it is stage which stage what is tvl 8 3 3 3 stage 3 correct and tvl 3 stage stage Please, uh, later to explain no ah, yeah, yeah okay so okay. when see This TVL is eight, okay. So TVL yeah. minus two becomes six, okay. TVL minus two yeah. becomes six, correct? So it is yeah. less than six plus three is. BA value is less than six. Getting it? Yeah. So when it is less than six, it becomes stage three. But it is in the plus plus, so it becomes stage three. When it is minus three, it becomes stage one. Got it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Now. C yeah. value is again plus three, so it is TVL minus two, so it is less than six. So again, it becomes stage three. So it is stage three anterior prolapse, stage three apical prolapse. Apical okay. prolapse. Hmm? 
Yeah. Because cervix mm -hmm. is at plus three, so it becomes stage three apical prolapse. DA is at plus three, it becomes stage three anterior prolapse. Now look mm -hmm. at the AP. AP becomes minus one. BP becomes zero. So this is the easiest stage. From minus one to plus one, it becomes any value from minus one to plus one becomes stage two. Yeah. Hmm? So it is stage yeah. two posterior wall prolapse. Stage two posterior, stage yeah. three anterior, stage three apical. Mm -hmm. Got it? Doctor. Ardula and D minus five. Actually, that's what no, it is. Where it is, I think it is wrong. When mm -hmm. C has come mm -hmm. plus three. Getting it? How yeah. can D become minus five? Can you imagine C at plus 3 and D becomes minus yeah. 5? Only 2 centimeters had to be different. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, got it. It has become almost 8 centimeter difference from minus 5 to plus 3. Yeah, yeah. Now there can be so much yeah, yeah. difference between point C and point D. There is, There must be something wrong in this. Okay? It must be plus 5. Okay? So 8 minus, uh, minus 5, it will be uh, 3, isn't it? Plus 3. No, no. Why? Why eight minus three plus three. See, only thing you have to eight minus five. Don't no need to do eight minus three. You have to do only eight minus two. TVL minus two. Only thing you have to do. I will. I will show one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. TVL minus two. It will be that uh, six. So C will be six. Yeah. Why C will be C will be six in stage yes, yeah. prolapse. See now again C once. Don't uh, make your own values now. See here. Now here. Mm -hmm. History. Uh, uterus is intact. D point is there means uterus is intact. Okay. Hmm, so it is not post hysterectomy prolapse. Now, A, A and B, A, it is plus 5. TVL is 7. 7 minus 2 becomes 5. Okay. So it is plus 5 means it becomes stage 4. Getting me? Yeah. It is stage 4. Yes. Anterior wall. Hmm? It is point. stage 4 or it is stage 3? Stage 4, TVL minus 2. Equal, less, uh, less it will be 5. Uh, so it is up till 5 there. Not up till. It is equal to or greater than. It is equal to oh. or greater than. Always remember. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. So it is stage 4 anterior. Here C is also 7 minus 2, 5. So it is stage 4 cycle. Okay. And stage 4 posterior. Mm -hmm. See only these three yeah. points. One, two, and three. Yeah. Okay. And TVL. You will, you can come to staging with these four points only. AP, mm -hmm. BP, C, and TVL. So staging, mm -hmm. you will come from this, you will come to know from these four points only. No need to look at other points. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, if the perineal yeah. body is very less, we can say that we may need to do perineal body reconstruction also. Hmm? Two mm -hmm. is normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it is like one or something like that, if they ask you. Okay. Got it? Just for so the... He, so here, hmm. here can you measure the perineal body? How will measure here? Perineal we body. have already given why we have to measure. It is perineal body, two centimeters. This is genital hiatus. This is perineal body. This is total vaginal length. Mm -hmm. They have already measured perineal body. They have already measured everything. We have, only we have to interpret this. Only? What is the normal value for genital hiatus? They will not going to ask, right? Not going to ask usually. Okay. Because they have never mentioned it. Nowhere they have mentioned that this is the normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Okay. Anything? Thank you. Okay. Okay then. Bye girls. I hope you will get benefited from this session. Okay. So, so okay. yeah. So only thing, look at the grid. Don't look at the picture because they are not going to give you picture. See, only see these four points, B, A, C, B, P, and T, V, L, and see whether D point is there or not for your diagnosis. That is the only thing which are, the only points which are important for your staging and diagnosis. Okay? So, Dr. Varadla, we should not look for genital hiatus and perineal body. I mean, they are not going to ask them. 
Usually they are not going to ask that much. Now see here, the perineal body is very less. And this is what yeah, and uh, uh, as the nitrile height is yes, uh -huh. and, and as the uh, prolapse being advanced, so size of nitrile height will be larger, definitely right? It will be larger in case of prosodentia, in case of stage four prolapse, there definitely it will be a larger. Am I right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Only thing, perineal yes. body reconstruction, whether we have to do it or not. But usually, I don't think nobody has asked till now regarding perineal body reconstruction or something like that. Okay. Right, thank you. Okay. Okay then. Bye girls. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Madola. Thank you. Bye.